guests, we ask that you please join us by standing if you are able and remove your caps for the singing of the Star Spangled Banner by the Madrigal Singers of Cheyenne High School under the direction of Mr. Tony Peterson. Please be seated. Good afternoon. On behalf of our graduates, the West Fargo Public Schools, and the faculty and staff at Cheyenne High School, we welcome you to our 2023 commencement celebration. I am Ryan Salisbury, principal at Cheyenne High School, and I would like to introduce the members of the West Fargo School community here to celebrate with us today. Superintendent Beth Sleddy, a super, Assistant Superintendent of S Secondary Schools Vince Williams, members of the school board, President Patty Stedman, Jim's, Jim Jonas, and Jessica Jones. Please join me in thanking our school board members for their dedicated service to our school and community. Also assisting in this celebration are members of the Cheyenne Administrative Team. Assistant Principals Dr. Matt Lahn, Seth Lakowitzer, and Jana Oysted, as well as Dean of Students, Ryan Bodell. I would now like to take a moment to recognize those past and present who have served, are currently serving, or are enlisted to serve in our nation's armed services. Please stand if you are able, and will everyone join me in giving them a round of applause. Thank you all for your service. To begin the ceremony, I invite to the stage Shira Painsel. Shira was chosen by administration to provide the welcome for today's ceremony. She is the daughter of Joanna Easel and Ebenezer Painsel.
Good afternoon, faculty, esteemed guests, and best for last, good afternoon to the graduating class of 2023. From being your MC at the pep rally to this stage, I am honored to welcome you all to this momentous occasion as your welcome speaker. If you didn't catch the name, I'm Shira Painsel, or as my classmates know me, Rodior. It is a big day here for everyone at Shields Arena, but especially us graduates. Well, we did it, Joe. We have worked hard, quizleted harder, and earned this. Although I recently transferred to Cheyenne in the middle of my junior year, I have built friendships, opportunities, and relationships that I will never forget. From my friend group freshman year called Freshman Mob, who gave Mr. Williams a run for his money, to getting Starbucks every day with Misha and Connor, it was experiences like those that have made me who I am today. We not only celebrate our academic achievements, but also the relationships that have helped us along the way to get here. Throughout our 12 years in school, we have encountered a numerous amount of classmates, family members, and staff members. These relationships have been instrumental in shaping who we are today and have helped us reach this important milestone. Our classmates have been there for us through thick and thin. We have the class clowns like Aiden Massacoy, the smart ones like Will Bassett, and the ones who always showed up late which is probably about all of us, but we all know Kennedy Coulter took the bait for that one. <laughs> From homework answer group chats and encouragement when we needed it the most, they have played a vital role in our triumphs and maybe some struggles which ended in detention, but they have become lifelong friends and memories. So remember the real. Our teachers have also played a critical role in our journey. Without Karnick, I may have not even been able to write this speech. Or even Mr. Benson, who constantly made gym class fun and hard at the same time. They have challenged us to think big, pushed us to be our best, and inspired us to pursue our passions. Thanks, Mr. Brosh. They have not only taught us academic subjects, but also important life lessons that will serve us well in the years to come. I, for one, will definitely be utilizing that personal finance unit in Ms. Miracle's class. Today, Without you all, graduation would have never happened. However, let's not be quick to forget about the staff members who have worked tirelessly behind the scenes to ensure that our school experience was a positive one. From the custodians who kept the school clean to the cafeteria workers who fed you every single day for the past 12 years. From the deals made with Mr. Bodell and Mr. Salisbury to clear UVs or detentions to the front desk ladies always being there when we needed the most. From ranting in Ms. Riley's office to getting resume help from Mrs. Strand, without them, graduation would have been a dream. But perhaps the most important relationships are the ones we have with our family. They have been our biggest supporters. I personally would like to take this time to thank my mom for everything she has done for me. You pushed yourself to raise my siblings and I, and you pushed me to be a gifted student, enrolled me in private schools, and still managed to make sure I had everything I wanted and needed. So I promise to return the favor. I also would like to thank my family members for being here every step of the way and also driving up here to watch me graduate. But Cheyenne, I mean, look around. Our families all came here for us. They've cheered us on and have sacrificed so much to make sure we had everything we needed to succeed. Even though we may get tired of them, let's listen, stay in touch, and show them just how much we appreciate all they have done for us. And finally, let's talk about our relationship with the world. We are about to enter a new phase of our life, and we have the power to make a difference. Whether you're pursuing a career, furthering your education, or even volunteering in your community, you have the ability to impact the world in a positive way. Don't be afraid to dream big, take risks, and you will never know what you might be able to achieve. To conclude, I want to congratulate each and every single one of you on your accomplishment. We have worked hard and we deserve to be proud of ourselves. As we move forward, remember to believe in yourself, nurture your relationships, and make a positive impact on the world. Stay in touch with your classmates, thank your teachers and staff members, and most importantly, cherish your family. 
Again, congratulations to the class of 2023. I can't wait to see what the future holds for us. Shira Dior, out. Thank you, Shira. At this time, I'd like to uh, bring Rachel Wynn to the stage. Rachel was chosen by administration to give the commencement address today. She is the daughter of John and Brittany Wynn. Thank you, Mr. Salisbury, and thank you, Shira. But hello, everyone. Hopefully, I'm visible, but as introduced, my name is Rachel Huynh, and I am honored, extremely honored, to be giving the commencement speech for West Fargo Cheyenne's class of 2023. <laughs> Though, fair warning, my fundamentals of public speaking skills are about to come into play. So there will definitely be a decent amount of cheesy quotes along with Gen Z references. To start off, I would like to give thanks to our staff, administration, and the teachers who have been with us throughout the past four years. We probably weren't the easiest to deal with, but thank you for your patience with us because you'll probably need more of it next year. Also, our district, nor does our school, formally give recognition to this title, but I would also like to acknowledge our class's valedictorian. It is definitely an accomplishment to maintain such a GPA with his hard work and especially throughout his journey of high school. He is just a city boy, not born but raised just west of Detroit, my dear friend William Bassett. Congratulations on having the GPA that I believe that most of us definitely wish that we had. <laughs> now, let's shift the spotlight to us, the class of 2023. Unfortunately, we may not be a lot like 21 Savage, and Taylor Swift is the reason we can't be feeling 22, but 23 is still the best number anyway. What's more important is that we survived high school especially through all of the adversities that we conquered individually and cooperatively. It is our day to celebrate because all of us, we've grown a lot during this time, physically, mentally, and for many, but unfortunately not me, vertically. <laughs> we lost opportunities, have regrets about what we could have further accomplished, and even lost our minds from staying inside a little bit too much. We were already filled with uncertainty, especially entering high school, but the global pandemic worsened that feeling. We barely knew which side of the hall to walk on before our freshman year was cut short, which the underclassmen have yet to figure out. But the following years were even more interesting from the many conversations about how to wear a mask and re-recognizing each other's faces, to attempting to lengthen our goldfish-like attention spans after over-consuming TikTok, and then realizing that we had an assignment due during our five-day hybrid weekend, we struggled much more than we should have. And the high school experience, it is never said to be easy, but it is eased around the idea of watching and learning from others. Our class was doing our best to figure out how to be a high schooler, except we didn't get the 101. Although every class before and after us were affected, I believe we were impacted the most. Because suddenly the world shut down and before we couldn't even step outside of our comfort zone, we were placed back inside of our box. 
and lost ourselves within the chaos of the world. Although we did have an opportunity that many of us did not have, the chance to redefine normal. I know we probably don't recall much from classes on Teams or the few interactions we had every other week, but we were learning life lessons. We paved our own path, rewrote the definition of normal for ourselves, and as a result, we became trailblazers just like the man Drake himself. Because quite literally, we started from the bottom, now the whole team here. The class to drop it like it's hot, bring back the senior prank, the best one yet, and the very first to graduate at the Shields Arena since 2019. We all knew this four-year experience wasn't going to be anything like High School Musical. But one thing remained true. We're all in this together. Even when we felt more divided than united, we connected through our differences in the path we shared to reach the closing of this chapter, the journey that required navigation. Because of each other, we are all here today. Proud to be wearing our obnoxiously bright royal blue gowns, taking in this moment and realizing that the tassel was really worth the hassle. This may be the last time we're together as a whole, but we wouldn't be here if it weren't for the relationships we've created, the memories we've shared, and the bonding over the question whether it was going to be a virtual day or not. Shout out to my closest friends, especially Asia, for always keeping me updated on the snow day status and being my other half since sixth grade. Honestly, we'd be rich by now if we got a dollar for every single time someone mentioned our contrasting heights. But just as time moves on, all things come to an end. The reason our first year was cut short is no longer a global crisis, and we're about to experience another series of unknowns as we go our separate ways. Except this time, it will be different. This time, we are prepared. Not only will we continue to discover life, we will also continue to understand that the only valid definition of normal is the one you write for yourself. Whether that is in the workforce, the military, or even college, where our parents will probably be overjoyed that we won't be home, yet still be able to claim us on their taxes. <laughs> Though parents can be parents, Remember to take some time and appreciate them. I wouldn't be the person I am today if it weren't for my parents, their unconditional support, and all of the hours they spent attending my school events for the past 13 years, including this one. So thank you, Mom. And I love you, Beth. But I'd also love to give a special thanks to the rest of my loved ones and all the families and individuals who are able to join us and support the largest and most unforgettable class to graduate from Cheyenne today. So everyone, let's take in these last few moments before it becomes tomorrow's memories. Breathe in, breathe through, breathe deep, and breathe out. I can credit Taylor Swift for that quote, but the applause is given to us because as Post Malone once said, we were patient and can soon scream that we made it. Congratulations, class of 2023. Thank you, Rachel. One would think that she's given a couple speeches in her uh, high school career. Um, right now, I'd like to welcome our superintendent of West Fargo Public Schools, Beth Sledy, to the podium.
Wow, I totally connected with Rachel's uh, speech, and you'll hear it in what I have to say today. A good afternoon, graduates of Cheyenne High School Class of 2023, and welcome to your commencement ceremony. Your resilience and determination over the past 13 years have paved the way for you to stand before your family, friends, and teachers today. You have earned their applause, cheers, and accolades, and I hope you are embracing this time of celebration. Over the last four years, you've probably heard educators talk about preparing all learners for tomorrow's world and to be choice ready. While it probably wasn't as obvious then, you actually began your choice ready journey in kindergarten when you were allowed to choose between choice one or choice two at lunch. In your elementary years, you were allowed to choose projects, friends, and even the outfit you wore to school, at least most of the time. And in middle school, you made choices for your music and activities, and throughout high school, you chose electives, advanced coursework, your prom date, and for many of you, you chose a job. Even though you had choice in so many things, there were still so many choices that were made for you over the course of your 13 years. As new graduates of West Fargo Public Schools, those days are in the past. Moving forward, you are the architect of your future. You may be planning to attend a post-secondary institution, join the workforce or the military, or maybe even a combination of all three. Whatever you choose, I want you to know and to believe this, you are ready. You are leaving these halls with the knowledge and skills to successfully navigate whatever life throws at you. Even when you're feeling overwhelmed, have the confidence in your ability to take each new day as it comes and just make one decision at a time. But today, just breathe. Take in this moment and recognize what you've accomplished in your years at Cheyenne High School. Celebrate everything that came before this day as well as this moment. You have earned it. Congratulations and best wishes for our bright future for each one of you. Thank you, Beth. I would now like to invite Misha Daisenga to the stage. Misha is the current student council president, and she is going to come up and introduce the incoming student council president for the 23-24 school year. Good afternoon, fellow graduates, family, friends, and faculty. My name is Misha Daisinga, and I am the outgoing student council president. Um, I just want to thank you all for joining us here today, and I also want to say that I am especially thankful to be able to share the honor of speaking at this graduation ceremony with two of my dearest friends, Shira and Rachel. Um, it's going to be hard to follow them up, but I'll try my best. So, if you were to ask me what today is, I would tell you it's not just Sunday, May 28th, not just our graduation ceremony, but rather a culmination of resiliency, determination, hard work, and collaboration that has all been displayed by this graduating class of 2023. Today, oh, yeah. <laughs> Today is not just an important landmark of our lives, but also a gateway leading us into our futures. Today is not only a gateway into our futures, but also a reminder of our past. I can't help but reminisce and think back to when I first arrived at Freedom Elementary over 10 years ago, go Flyers, when my second grade teacher, Ms. Zocker, first gave me my student ID number. She informed me that I would have this number until I graduated high school, and little seven-year-old me thought that was light years away and I'm sure many of you can relate. Who could have thought that this day would come so soon? 
Those six digits have stayed with us all throughout our time in this district, whether that's been for 10 years or just one, and they've been with us as we've anxiously logged into power school to check our grades at the end of the quarter, or if you're like me, buying those delicious cookies from the lunchroom every day. <laughs> Although those six digits have been our district identification numbers for all this time, they're far from what has actually defined us. This senior class has gone against the grain and paved our own path, seeking our own self-fulfillment regardless of others' expectations. Whether it was through the arts, sports, academics, or community involvement, this class of 2023 has left an undeniable impact on Cheyenne High School and our community as a whole. And I think that's something that we should all be proud of, especially considering that we've gone through a lot throughout our, our educational career, whether that's having our freshman year interrupted by COVID or getting our juice boxes taken away that one time in middle school. We've had difficulties navigating hybrid learning or navigating the parking lot after the senior prank, but we haven't let these obstacles stop us from becoming the absolute best versions of ourselves, the versions of us that have been able to make it to this moment. However, we couldn't get to where we are today if it wasn't for our relationships with others. All throughout history, humans have needed each other to survive, which is a testament to the power of relationships. This has remained true throughout our educational careers, because if it wasn't for our relationships with our peers, teachers, and family members, our journeys would have looked very different. I'm sure I can speak for everyone when I say that I'm thankful to our teachers for providing us with the education to succeed, our families for being alongside us by all, along the way, and of course to you, my fellow graduates, for the friendships we have made and the support we have provided for each other. These relationships have lined our paths to success and have been our guide throughout our educational careers. So today, take some time to thank you, to thank, thank someone that has helped you make it to this moment. So what now? A question that has been racking my brain for many, way longer than I'd like to admit. While it's important to acknowledge the experiences and relationships that have brought us here, it's also important to look forward to what's waiting for us as soon as we walk out of these doors. The world is just waiting for you to go out there and make your own unique impact. Do what makes you happy, be kind to others, and always strive to be your best self. As you make your way through this unpredictable world, remain confident in who you are and know that you already hold the tools to be successful. I mean, if we've already made it through the ups and downs of high school, then I'm sure we can accomplish anything we put our minds to. So while a significant chapter of our lives is coming to a close, don't let that take away from the fact that a new one is just waiting to be written. And so as we begin this ceremony and get closer to receiving our diplomas, I have nothing left to say but thank you. Thank you all for letting me be part of your journey, and I'm forever grateful that you all were a part of mine. Thank you. So at this time, I would like to invite Emma Nelson, current Student Council Vice President and incoming Student Council President for the 2023-2024 school year. Good afternoon, everyone. Staff, family members, friends, and graduates. My name is Emma Nelson, and I am the current Student Council Vice President and incoming Student Body President for the Class of 2024. I am excited to share this moment with you all, the beginning of a new chapter in the lives of many, many who deserve and worked hard for where they are today, a class that had their first year of high school cut short due to the global pandemic yet persisted and continued with their high school career as if high school isn't difficult enough. You went months without being able to see your friends, families, and teachers, yet look around. You're all here today. You're all together. You made it. A situation some may not have thought possible. And for that, I congratulate each and every one of you. The other classes at Cheyenne look up to you and are inspired by your accomplishments. Thank you for sharing your gifts with the world, from sports to art to small acts of kindness throughout the day. Even if you felt they were small, we feel the large impact they have. Mother Teresa, a great humanitarian, awarded the Nobel Peace Prize in 1979, said, when we work hard all day long, 
it feels like we are only a drop in the ocean. But if our individual drops were not in the ocean, the ocean would be dry. Each of you has been a drop in our ocean here at Cheyenne, and without you, we would be empty and dry. Never forget how important you are wherever you go. Your hard work will always be noticed. Even with the circulation of new classes, your impact will be felt as our ocean expands. Thank you for inspiring those around you. You will be missed. As for your next chapter, do what makes you happy. As said by Albert Schweitzer, another Nobel Peace Prize winner, success is not the key to happiness. Happiness is the key to success. If you love what you are doing, you will be successful. <laughs> Thank you. It is important to remember this as you focus on your own path because success means something different to everyone. Focus on yourself and your happiness to find your success. Success is within each of you and given you're all sitting here today shows that you can accomplish it. Life has no remote, so get up and change it yourself. You're all amazing and I'm excited to see how you change the world. Thank you. Thank you, Emma. I would now like to welcome school board member Patty Stedman to the podium. Hello, graduates. It's an honor to be here representing our entire board as we celebrate your accomplishments. Everything you have done in your 13-year educational career culminates in this momentous occasion of graduation. Our district mission is to educate all learners for tomorrow's world. One of the ways we do that is providing opportunities for every learner to develop the dispositions included in our profile of a graduate. I hope that your high school experience has provided you with a multitude of ways to learn about, experience, and demonstrate collaboration, communication, compassion, creativity, critical thinking, reflection, resiliency, and responsibility, each with the goal of preparing you for life after high school whether that's in college, the military, or the workforce. I encourage you to take time to think back of all the little moments and experiences that made your elementary, middle, and high school years memorable. But for today, along with your families, friends, classmates, and our community, let's celebrate the class of 2023. As you graduate from high school and embark on the next leg of your journey, wherever that might take you. Ladies and gentlemen, esteemed faculty members, proud parents and guardians, and most importantly, the incredible graduating class of 2023. It is with great honor and immense joy that I stand before you today to celebrate this momentous occasion. The culmination of years of hard work, dedication, and the power of the relationships that have been formed. Today, as we gather to bid farewell to our beloved students, we cannot help but reflect upon the incredible journey we have embarked on together. Throughout these formative years, we have witnessed remarkable transformations, <clears throat> both academically and personally. But what has truly made these years exceptional is the undeniable power of relationships that have shaped each and every one of us. When we think of high school, we often conjure up images of classrooms, textbooks, exams, teams meetings, uh, but my dear graduates, let us not forget that the true essence of education lies not in the brick and mortar of the walls of Cheyenne High School, but in the meaningful connections we have formed along the way. It is the bonds we have forged, the friendships we have nurtured, and the mentors who have guided us that have truly enriched our lives. The power of relationships extends far beyond the confines of a classroom. It is in the moment shared during extra and co-curricular activities, in the laughter in the hallways, and the support we've shown one another during triumphs and setbacks. It's in the educators who believed in you, the friends who have stood by your side, and the parents and guardians who have been your, your unwavering pillars of strength. 
We've learned that success is not solely measured by grades or accolades, but rather by the depth of the connections we have cultivated. It is, a, <clears throat> it is the empathetic ear that listens, the comforting hand that reaches out, and the genuine care that we extend to one another that truly defines our achievements. Graduates, as you embark upon the next chapter of your lives, remember the power of the relationships that you have formed. Treasure the friendships you've made and never underestimate the impact that you can have on others. The connections you establish in the years to come will definitely shape your future, inspire your dreams, and provide the support you need to overcome any challenge that stands in your way. Remember, relationships are a two-way street. Be the friend who uplifts, the mentor who guides, and the shoulder to lean on. In a world that often feels divided, let empathy be your guiding light. Reach out to those in need, extend a helping hand, and embrace diversity, for it is through these relationships that we can build a stronger and more compassionate society. As you walk across the stage today, remember the faces that have touched your heart the minds that have expanded your horizons, and the love that has surrounded you throughout your high school, re high school years. Carry the lessons you have learned, the connections you've forged, and the memories you have created within your hearts. Congratulations, graduates. <clears throat> You've not only completed your high school journey, but you've also grasped the true essence of education, the transformative power of relationships. May these connections continue to shape your lives, ignite your passions, and lead you to a future filled with joy, purpose, purpose and boundless success. Thank you, and may your futures be as bright as the smiles that I see today before me. Students' names that appear on your program today have completed all graduation requirements. However, for various reasons, some were unable to attend. The flowers on the table serve as a symbol to remember all Cheyenne Mustangs who are not with us today. Please note that honor students are denoted with asterisks in your program and have earned a cumulative GPA of 3.5 or higher in their high school career. The National Honor Society students have also been designated in the program with a carrot. Students will receive their diplomas alphabetically. Pictures may be taken from your seats as no one will be allowed onto the floor. Sherling's photography will be taking photos of each graduate and they will be available to all of our families. Join me, joining me in reading our graduates' names are assistant principals Dr. Matthew Lahn, Seth Lakowitzer, and Jana Oisted, as well as Dean of Students Ryan Bodell. Assisting with the presentation of diplomas are school board members. Please join me in thanking our school board members for their dedicated service to our school and our community. <clears throat> the graduates and I feel strongly that the dignity of our commencement exercise today be respected by all of our guests. Please hold your applause until all names have been read. Disruptions as names are read will make it difficult to hear the next graduate's name. West Fargo School Board, I, res I respectfully present to you the 2023 senior class of Cheyenne High School. They have completed all requirements for graduation as set down by the North Dakota Department of Public Instruction and the West Fargo School Board. Graduates, on behalf of the faculty and me, we would like you to know that it has been our distinct pleasure to work with you during your high school years. I congratulate you and ask you now to prepare to receive your diplomas. Superintendent Sleddy, Principal Salisbury, on behalf of the West Fargo Board, I accept the class of 2023 as having met the requirements for graduation.
Brennan Oh. Ludin Ahmed. Yasmin Ahmed. Caitlin Altman. Cody American Horse. Caitlin Anderson. Connor Anderson. Denny Anderson. Jade Anderson. Michaela Anderson. Nathaniel Angus. Dykes Anna. DeAndre Ansa. Caden Antone. Caden Armstrong. Sophia Estolfi. Kaysen Bear. Camry Balstead. Esther Bonazewe. Marlon Bargor. William Bassett. Lydia Bepa. Emma Benson. Leif Bergstrom. Emma Bernath. Olivia Bouchoner. Dylan Bile. Jordan Bile. Anna Bianco. Adeline Beanick. Robert Bigwood. Ethan Birnbaum. Caitlin Bierke. Brianna Blixt. Haley Bass. Regan Bogenreef. Sydney Brandvold. Sydney Braun. Peyton Breidenbach. Reese Breidenbach. Parker Brecky. Jocelyn Brown. Chloe Brown. Oakley Brown. Chloe Buckles. Maya Callier. Bryce Kane. Gaia Calvia. Carter Carlson. Allie Carlsrud. Scarlett Carlisle. Anj Chiju. Gavin Christensen. Brandon Chinkini. Casey Clemenson. Ezri Klein. Benjamin Klaus. Hayden Cole. Logan Coleman. Kennedy Coulter. Ethan Crawford. Wea Cummings. Alexis Curry. Winston Davison. Bailey Dawes Grindy. Lane Daly. Taylor Delorme. Ramsey Dennis. Tucker Dietz. Callie Differding. Zachary Disher. Callie Dodds. Trafina Duncan. 
Emmanuel Duat. Brayden Duran. Hannah Durbin. Olivia Duvall. Grace Edberg. Adele Elvis. Connor Enns. Lindsay Erickson. Ella Erickstead. Caden Erickson. Mason Ernst. Kinden Evenson. Shanielle Fandrick. Lindsay Faverdu. Rachel Filzer. Abigail Fick. Tyler Field. Jacob Fisher. Jared Fisher. Zachary Fisher. Jasmine Floating. Cambria Floyd. Tristan Folk. Catherine Francis. Sylvia Frank. Jack Franklin. Lane Friesen. Mariana Galswick. John Galit. Matthew Gallegos. Xavier Garcia. Giselle Garza. Asia Getty. Daniel Gear. David Gear. William Georgeson. Mia Jarvis. Zoe Jarvis. Ryan Gizi. Wesley Gill. Grayson Gilliland. Chase Goldaddy. Austin Gorder. Michaela Gould. Ashley Gord. Maxwell Greenwood. Hunter Gustafson. Tanner Haig. Caitlin Haas. Wyatt Halverson. Marin Harland. Drew Harry. Mason Hart. Jared Haven. Jaden Hecox. Hattie Heffernan. Olivia Hyden. Caden Healy. Ty Hemrick. Anna Hennings. Kaysen Herman. Elizabeth Hewitt. Ariana Hoddenfield. Wyatt Hoffner. Ian Hognes. Paige Holbrook. Elena Holder. Tierney Howell. 
Erica Hoy. Liliana Ruby. Alexis Haruza. Connor Husted. Madeline Husted. Rachel Wynn. Madden Irie. Jacob Impola. Arenison Atua. Braden Iverson. Haley Jager. Antonia Jala. Brody Janat. Benjamin Johnson. Brady Johnson. Brooke Johnson. Lauren Johnson. Marcus Johnson. Mary Johnson. Megan Johnson. Seth Johnson. Aiden Jones. Ashton Jorgens. Tiffany Jorison. Ava Jung. Moise Kaba. Joely Kamau. Trey Cambites. Isaac Kanega. Eliza Carlor. Soren Castor. AJ Kaufman. Brooke Kava. Catherine Kiefer. Deidre King. Aiden Canodal. Timothy Cabrasi. Mira Cote. Kezia Corsa Brown. Landon Korth. <laughs> Marilyn Pade. Lesga Penu. Adrian Kraft. McKenna Kramer. Olivia Christosik. Kayla Keekley. Peyton Lace. Logan Lamp. Zeke Langamo. Carson Lansink. Nicholas Lands. Levi Lochner, Paige Leadall, Carson Leifeld, Riley Leith, Evelyn Lewis, 
Pramod Limbu. Winston Lin. Owen Lin. Logan Linnertz. Paige Lipetsky. Aaron Loiza. Benjamin Lopez. Connor Lugert. Kara Lyon. Josephine Machaya. Riley Madewell. Ella Mahler. Nikame Mapembe Chidu. Brooke Markworth. Alec Marsh. Emmanuel Marwa. Aiden Masakoy. Grace Maurice. Samantha May. Autumn McGough. Jillian McMahon. Carter Menz. Abigail Merrick. Logan Mesmer. Maya Metcalf. Serenity Mills. Abigail Mishalik. Jack Molenkamp. Oh, sorry. Mohammed Mohammed. Abigail Malter. Michaela Malter. Zachary Moser. Corey Maori. Garrett Munoenu. Kyra Neerum. Misha Daisenga. Ryan Nehemiah. Tyler Neeb. Julia Negretto. Kaylee Newmiller. Presley Nissen. Bryn Noor. Lance Nostrum. Aaron Nowoski. Isaac Obang. Carter Olean. Carter Okison. Justin Olson. Darby Olson. Kylie Olson. 
Lily Olson. Ross Olson. Nathan Otterness. Nicole Otterness. Chase Otterson. Nathan Owen. Shira Paintsill. Grayson Parisian. Richmond Parker. Erica Pay. Isabel Perez. Gavin Peterson. McKenna Peterson. Nathan Pearl. James Pogreba. James Quast. Ethan Ron. Caden Rar. Taryn Randash. Keaton Rasmussen. Maria Ratliff. Ellie Reap. Danielle Reeves. Nicholas Renner. Spencer Reynolds. Kenzie Richardson. Jaden Richter. Derek Ritter. Skyler Rindall. Taylor Roberg. Jaden Rogan. Rebecca Rohr. Corbin Roweeder. Isabella Rude. Lauren Rowley. Peyton Rude. Tatum Sand. Carson Sanders. Alexis Sabajo. Molly Schaefer. Ashton Schaff. Andrew Schizzle. Ty Schlichting. Zachary Schlittenard. Zach Schmidt. Jenna Schneider. Tessa Schoens. Reed Schroeder. Peyton Schuster. G. Zachary Schwab. Dylan Scott. Alexander C.A. Kashab Sharma. 
Madeline Shea. Paige Shearer. Carly Scarpole. Drew Spurley. Lauren Steffen. Derek Stelter. Dylan Stelter. Jasmine Stevan. Trey Stalker. Ellie Stoffel. Carson Sterlingson. Cassandra Swanson. Riley Swanson. Chase Swenson. Lexis Terhark. Maya Thiel. Bryn Thomas. Amanda Thompson. Jane Thompson. Quinn Thompson. Jaden Thornton. Ladue Tungan Gore. Cameron Torpen. Gracie Toso. Brianna Triplett. Autumn Trozen. Brooks Tulo. Nicolette Tavetter. Riley Almer. Claire Upton. Carly Erlocker. Katrina Ustanko. Morgan Volvo. Rowan Vetter. Grace Voler. Allie Vogelsberg. Haley Von Bank. Kaylee Wasdorp. Sari Wadeson. Madeline Walters. Isabella Wedding. Ryder Weigel. Logan Wickenheiser. Carter Wiederholt. Andrew Wilhelm. Jack Windis. Nima Wynn. Cade Itzdi. Joseph Estebo. Jana Paula Zafra. Asma Zaid. Paris Zahn. William Ziegler.
Graduate, graduates. <laughs> not, not yet. Graduates, please stand. Graduates, please move your tassel from the right side of your mortarboard to the left. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, the Cheyenne High School Class of 2023. Thank you to all in attendance that have helped to shape these young graduates' lives. It has been an honor to work with all of you. As we close this ceremony, I hope you all have a safe and enjoyable summer. Please stay seated until the graduates walk out. After that time, you can exit the same way you came in. Thank you for coming to celebrate with us today.